Eesti suurim loodusvaraan mets. Eesti pinda on ligi 4,4 miljonit hektarit, millest pool, ehk 2,2 miljonit hektarit, katab mets, millest 40% haldab riik, ehk RMK, ehk riigimetsamajanduskeskus ja 60% haldavad eraisikud ja firmad. RMK-st järgmine suurem metsaadusfirma on Tornator, mis haldab ligi 50 000 hektarit Eestis. Tuleks ka ära märkida, et Eesti riigimets on kantud mahe metsaregistrisse, mis tähendab seda, et metsahaldusel ei ole kaastudud kemikaale. Igal aastal rajutakse metsades 10 000 hektarit lageraieks ja 10 000 hektarit harvendusraieks. Lagerai on raie viis, kus piiritetud alalt eemaldatakse enamik puudest. Lageraie turvemisel tekib raiesmik. Looduskaitsaadel on tavaliselt lagaraie keelatud. Harvendusraie on hooldusraie liik, mille käigus rajutakse välja umbes kolmandik puudest, et luua lõpraiesse jäävatele puudele paremad tingimused. Harvendusraiet tehakse kas alameetodel või ülameetodel. Vastavalt rajutakse välja kas suuremad puud, kes laiutavad võraga takistavad teiste puude kassu või väiksemad puud, et parandada valgustingimusi. Eestis kasvatatud puitu kasvatavad mööblitajutud tööstused käsitöölised ja paljud teised. Rajutub puudes 21,5% läheb paveritööstustele. Paveritööstustele minekust puidust moondustub 38,2% kask, 34,9% kuusk, 15,1% haab ja 11,8% mänd. Paveripuit kasvatatakse peamiselt kagu Eestis, sealse hea pinnase pärast. Kõik raiepuud pead kasvama kindla vanuseni, enne kui need raiuda tohib. Vastavalt haab 60 aastat, kask 70 aastat, kuus 80 aastat ja mänd 90 aastat. Eesti puidule antakse lisaväärtust paperitööstuses. Lähme kehrasse ja uurime, kuidas see asi käib. 1937. aasta aprillis alustati kehrasse sulfaatselluloosi tease ehitamist. Tehas valmib ka aasta hilja ning see avatakse 25. augustil aastal 1938. Eesti vabariigi president Kosatin Petsi poolt. Sõjale ja tehas puutumata ning 1941. aasta suvel tegevus peatub. Mõned aastad hiljem tehas tahtsatakse ning töö saab jätkuda. Aastal 1955 algab tehases juupaperi tootsmine ning tehase uueks nimeks saab ka nüüd hoopis kehrat selluloosi ja paperi kombinaat. Tehase seadmeid pidevalt täiendatakse ning 1962. aastal esimesele NSV liidus hakkatakse tootma neljakihilisi liimitud paperkotte. Hiljem valmib ka kaasaegne remondimehaaniga Tšeh ja alustab tööd bioloogiline heitveb uasti. Eesti vabariigi taasise seisumisega 1991. aastal saab kombinaadist AS kehra vaber. Ettevõtta ei osuta aga kuigi edukaks ning 1993. aastal kuludatakse välja AS kehrapaber pankrõt. Õnneks ostab kehrapaberi vabriku 1995. aastal Singapuri Tolaran Grupp ning vabrik uueks nimeks saab Horizon celluloosi ja paberi AS. Sellega kaastavad ka mitmed investeeringud. Tolaran Grupp on aastat jooksul investeerinud vabrikusse üle 100 miljoni euro. Lisaks jõuvabrile toodetakse alates 1998. aastast Horizonis teisi kaubamärgi alga pehmevabärit. Tehase arenemine jätkub pidevalt kuni tänase päevani ning tehas kuulub ka täna samasse ettevõtete gruppi. Suur tähelepanu pööratakse keskkonnalastele probleemidele. Here in Horizon we are manufacturing unbleached virgin brown sack craft paper. Uh, this paper finds application for industrial use such as uh, sacks for cement manufacturing, sacks for minerals, going for shopping bags and there are many applications for this. The paper uh, is exported to uh, over 60 countries. See this paper is very special uh, because this is going in for industrial purpose. It's a very strong paper. And uh, to make this paper, uh, you need uh, soft wood with very long fiber. Yes. Uh, so we use uh, uh, pine and spruce of very good quality from Estonian timber. We are sourcing uh, the logs uh, uh, from the forest and our major supplier is uh, Aramka. Yeah. And uh, it depends upon the logistics. You know, if uh, the timber is coming from within 100 kilometers from Horizon factory, it is transported by road with trucks. 
if the timber is coming away, let's say from south of Estonia, it's coming through railways, through wagons. And roughly, I would say about 30% comes from wagons and about 70% is coming through trucks. Okay, uh, let me first give you a gist of uh, how the manufacturing of paper is carried out in Horizon. The paper manufacturing is uh, very similar to, let's say, making a pancake. Okay, in pancake, you have two stages. One, from the raw material, you're making the batter, right? The raw material is uh, eggs and, uh, let's say, wheat flour. And then you're making the batter. Second stage, you're converting the batter into the pancake. In the same way, out here, we make from the raw material wood pulp, which is a batter for making the paper. And then the pulp is processed in the machines, paper machines, to make very fine quality paper. So as the wood is coming in, we take it to a chipping machine. First, we remove the bark. The locks contain the bark. We remove the bark. Then it is uh, chipped into small pieces. Then the chips are conveyed into a cooking machine. Now, this, uh, this, is, uh, this cooking plant operates at a very high temperature and high pressure. And at high temperature and pressure, we are actually removing the fiber out of other stuff which is there in the wood. Let's say lignin or other impurities, are, they are segregated. And then you have uh, the fiber coming out. And this fiber is what forms the pulp, which goes in for making the paper. Okay, And what comes out is uh, lignin and other constituents of the, of the wood, but they have very high energy, which is taken uh, for generating steam separately, another stream which goes out. Okay? And once this pulp is made, the pulp is moved through screens to remove the impurities, and it's also treated with chemicals, and then it is ready for pushing into the machines. And the machines uh, have rollers, and the paper is formed at the initial stage. Then there are pressing taking place where you're removing the, the moisture. Then the paper moves through hot rolls to take out uh, uh, the moisture completely and the dry paper is made. And uh, it is rolled into a, a, a big roll which is almost of uh, 1,000 kgs, about one ton in weight. If you put the, uh, the wood at the starting point, in 12 hours time, you can have the paper. Uh, the prime mover for these machines is electricity. See, by and large, the, the gases which you see are essentially water vapor. That's the biggest volume which gets created because you are producing the paper and, and you're also drying it. So you're taking away uh, the moisture from the paper. So the major component which comes out is all water vapor, which is not uh, dangerous at all. But during the course of manufacturing, there are certain uh, uh, concentrations of chemical which come out which we collect together and take the entire vapor and incinerate it along with gas. So we burn it and ultimately what we let off is carbon dioxide. So uh, the process is very safe and it's not dangerous. The plant is running 24 by 7 and uh, the machines, you know, some sections are fully automated, some sections are partially automated and uh, it is under full supervision because, uh, you know, if there is any interruption coming in the machine, somebody has to take care of it and then restart the entire machine. So practically, uh, it is fully manned. You have people always present in the mill. We have a warehouse where we are, uh, every day's production, as and when the rolls are produced, they are packed and then they are moved into the warehouse. Uh, close to about 3,000, 3,500 tons we can store in the warehouse. Uh, we are using forklifts and groplers for moving the, uh, the rolls into the warehouse. And also the same warehouse is, is, uh, is used for loading onto the trucks or the containers which are getting shipped. We have uh, uh, 360 employees working in, in the paper mill. 2016. aasta suvel püstitas Tolaram Ausampa kehrapargis, mis on püüdatud kõigele kehrapabere fabrikoendistele ja praegustele töötajatele. Thank you.